let's talk about a prison story that is uh, uh, some, uh, some, somewhat uh, at the top of the list of the prison stories we've covered. A neglected prisoner has been awarded fifteen and a half million dollars, down from the twenty-two million that he was initially awarded by a jury, after serving twenty-two months in solitary confinement. His name is Stephen Slevin. He spent twenty-two months in solitary at a New Mexico jail. During the time, his mental health deteriorated. Fungus grew on his skin. He was forced to pull his own tooth after being denied access to a dentist. And the recent settlement has him receiving $15.5 million from Do uh, Donna Anna County. Initially, $22 million, as I mentioned, and that was appealed, and eventually the, the number settled on was $15.5 million. His attorney, Matt Coit, says his client's mental health has been severely compromised from the time he was in that facility. That continues to be the same. No amount of money will bring back what they took away from him. So he developed bed sores during the 22 months. He lost 50 pounds. This started back in 2005. He was arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence and stealing a, a car, which he says he borrowed from a friend. He was never brought before a judge, never convicted of any crime. And he wrote letters. He begged for help with his depression. The before and after photos, which we have up here for our television audience, certainly are indicative, Lewis, of, of uh, at least to some extent of what was going on there. And the question to me is, how did no one know this was happening? People are presumably feeding him three times a day. How did no one notice this? And therefore, who is complicit and why has no one been punished? Good question. I don't know. It sounds like the taxpayers are being punished. Right. I mean, fifteen point five million dollar settlement. That's great. That is essentially taxpayer money. Nobody who made the call to keep him in there, nobody who neglected or denied him the treatment he clearly needed is being punished. As far as we currently know, incredibly disturbing story. Yeah. Uh, I wonder I wonder how many people out there are this is happening to right now. I mean, this can't be the only guy. The other question, which is which I have is, according to Jess Williams, which is Donna Anna County's public information director, Jess Williams told NBC News that the jail is making an effort to improve the way it treats prisoners with mental illness. Wait a second. So number one, I guess by mental illness, they're talking about depression. Um, if this individual didn't have a mental illness issue, so-called mental illness issue, then the way he was treated was OK. Why are they only focusing on how they treat patients with mental illness? It's a really weird response. And I guess it's just kind of like a get something on the record, which means almost nothing. But so we show up with more than a no comment. Right. Pretty shocking story. It, well, it they're, really is. They're creating the mental illness and then they want to be able to treat it. Well, that's the thing the, we know from talking to a number of experts on the show and research we've done that the effect of solitary confinement on the mental health of prisoners often is solely responsible for a mental illness issue. Uh, PTSD is not out of the question from what I've read for somebody who is kept in these kinds of conditions. Right. The prison system is creating mental illness. I don't think it's news to too many people. No, I don't think so.